Hello and welcome to another edition of Highways Presents, where we bring the expert industry knowledge from the road sector to the world. My name is Dominic Brown. I'm the editor of Highways magazine. Thank you very much for joining me. You will not regret it because this Highways Presents is going to be right up your street. And I know that because it is probably literally right up your street. That's right. We're going to be talking about the common pothole. Yes, we're going to find out what happens when one of the world's most famous companies takes on what feels like a very British problem, but it's probably something they uh, experience in other countries as well. Um, in the yellow corner, we have the world's most iconic digger manufacturer, JCB. And in the grey corner, we hate them, you know them, you do not love them, potholes. They're everywhere, but not to worry, ladies and gentlemen, because JCB think they have the answer. It's called the Pothole Pro. It was announced this January. It's a very exciting new bit of kit that's already making waves in the industry and attracting national media buzz. It is a one-stop shop. Fix it first time. Do not have to go back for years and years. It's done. It's dusted. It's cropped, cut, cleaned, all in one bit of kit. It takes a quarter of the time and only half the cost. It is the Pothole Pro. And here to talk us through all of the details behind this, including the actual origin of the word pothole, just a bonus material there, are two people who are heavily and directly involved in the product development for this exciting bit of kit. It's Ben Rording and Paul Murray from JCB. Hi, Dominic, Hi. and great to be here with, with you and your, your listeners. Um, I'm Paul Murray. So I'm, obviously I work at JCB. I'm, I'm product director for Pothole Pro, uh, the HydroDig, Backo platforms and um, site dumpers as well. So uh, yeah, I'm in a great position. I, I get to work with our great engineers and technology and create these new uh, these new machines and strategies that are going to take us, uh, us forward. My name is, is Ben Rawling. I also work within the JCB product team at the World Headquarters. So working with Paul, like I say, we work on different machines, but our latest and greatest innovation is the JSB Pothole Pro machine. I'm incredibly excited to share with you today and hopefully get into the detail. Right. So basically, both of you are living your childhood dreams. You get to play with Absolutely. trucks and diggers, dump <laughs> trucks all day. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. Right. Before we go any further, why do we have such a terrible problem with potholes in this country? I mean, you, you must have looked into this before you launched the product in your R&D. Just... Tell us a bit about the background, why you're releasing the Pothole Pro. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 every innovation starts with, with a problem. That we, really, we really looked hard to really understand the critical core of the problem and, and, and why our councils who look after roads have been able to sort of, haven't been able to eradicate potholes from, from the roads. Um, and and what, what we see is, you know, traffic on the road has increased year on year. Um, but when we get close to potholes and those defects, the, the method uh, used to fix those defects has not changed year on year. It, it, it's still very much using traditional methods. Um, and those very traditional methods, you know, are, are, are one very slow, you know, they can take an hour uh, and involve people on the hands and knees, literally, you know, cutting out and preparing these potholes. Um, and they're very high cost, um, and and what that what that I see that's what that's led, um, because there's not a, a great technology there to speed this process up, is it then encourages councils to have to go and because of safety concerns do temporary repairs just to put tar into holes, um, and then that has a bit of a negative cycle as well because once you've got a temporary repair again really underneath. Like, you know, if you're going to, to have your, your tooth in and the dentist, if you don't fix the, the problem properly, it starts to creep down into the base and becomes a larger problem. And, and, and Ben and I spent a lot of time on sites and understanding and asking the questions and seeing what actually goes on and what tools people actually use. And that's what came back with. Now, JCB have been in potholes and resurfacing for some time, for many years. But what we see is our machines are typically used in larger resurfacing and defect, uh, you know, uh, systems, um, not so much in the pothole. So coming back to fix the problem, uh, it, it really was building a machine that could turn up on site with the gangs that were there today and prepare those potholes that are everywhere very quickly, very safely and 
with less cost. And if, if I might just pick up on that as well, I think Paul rightly says working with the councils and gangs, not against them. Um, I think they get a lot of stick um, within pothole repairs and, and highways. So we really, as JCB, there's a weight on our shoulders as an engineering company to put our heads together and really try and fix this. So as Paul says, we worked within the highways, working on the streets with the councils to understand what is the process, what's the backlog, what are the challenges they're facing? And then we came up with a machine to try and fix that process and make it far more efficient, but also a permanent repair. If we look at the Astra Alliance and the alarm report, they're currently looking at an 11 year backlog to fix the potholes based off the of current repair methods. There's clearly a huge scope for innovation. And I think mapping out that process is one of our key starting blocks and then building on that and, and how can we create a machine to, to action some of those frustrations that they face. The alarm survey, I should say, is the big industry standard survey it comes out every year and almost every year it tells a very sad story of a huge backlog, as you say, Ben, over 11 billion um, repair backlog in England and Wales. And uh, yeah, it's something that we definitely need to tackle. So, gentlemen, if you'd like to talk us through why is the Pothole Pro the one stop single machine solution to getting a pothole fixed properly right first time? Um, well, Dominic, one of our JCB mottos, and, and we're, we're proud British engineers in JCB, we, we like to do things in a better way. We're always challenging ourselves to find a better way and that starts with our customers those highways gangs in this place understanding their needs and that sort of viewpoint comes all the way down from our chairman he, he's he he hits the potholes as much as we do and he winces the same and he feels it's a, a national issue that we as british engineers and british councils etc we need to solve this problem so that that's where it started so recognising with this process, we, we research with the councils, what is the bottleneck? What is the process that's meaning this process is maybe inefficient and is not permanent? And what we try to do is try to distill that into three key elements, into a cut, a crop and a clean. And that's absolutely essential in creating a uniform hole profile. So squaring off the edges, making sure the hole is fully prepared before you even start talking about filling it with material. Otherwise, councils would just have to revisit these sites after reoffending potholes, even as little as one, two months later. So what we look to do with this machine, the cut element being a 600 millimeter planer, there's the ability to side shift the end of the curb um, with both floating um, or powered tilt to mirror the gradient. Um, we had also the cropping element. This is vital cutting out the process, uh, eliminating the need for circular saws or jackhammers and completely uh, eliminating hand arm vibration syndrome. And the final element being clean. So this comprises of a 1.2 meter sweeper that also has the ability for bucket mode. So this is cleaning out the material that you then milled out and utilizing the support vehicles to then um, recycle the, the sediment that you take away. Explain to us the benefits that people, that the councils and contractors are gonna see on the ground. First thing they're going to see is is closing pot out, potholes out in less time. So we've seen and council reported that this can prepare a pothole and fix a pothole in eight minutes, and that's down from one hour, which 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 is normally the case. Now, when you start reducing the time down by that much, some of the other other elements, such as road closures, for example, come down by the same amount of time. As time comes down, as we we, we move, as we fix things faster, then there's a number of elements uh, that are of cost that are linked to time. The fixed elements, such as the tar, remain the same, so you get a quality repair. But the, the, the you know you effectively close out more holes at less cost. Um, the benefit then is also in areas such as traffic management, which is a significant cost. If you're closing a road and you've got traffic management in place for a period of time, that's quite a high cost. And all those elements of cost start to come down as we increase the time. A permanent traditional repair for a per pothole is £60. And that's pretty well established across the UK. We can do a full permanent repair with a pothole pro for 30 pounds 
using the same size gang, the same support vehicles, uh, we get it down to £30. Now, £30 and eight minutes means there's no need uh, for temporary repairs. You know, we, we, the, the councils are in a position to get on a, 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 and do permanent repairs. OK, so it's quicker, it's more efficient, more productive, it's cheaper. What about um, all of these benefits, I guess, come together to provide benefits for the environment? One thing that this machine does straight off is collects all of the, the planings, the chippings, so there's zero waste. Now, the, 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 the attachment there is designed to be able to recover them clean, um, so you can put them back into the standard vehicle, and then they can go back into recycling. It was interesting to learn that some of the current, current uh, recovery methods um, mean there's not a clean sample coming off, which a lot of our road plannings there go back into landfill site, now, that's a cost for landfill, but there's also an environmental cost for that because you have to produce more material then to reinstate the road. So, so recycling zero waste is key. What about the customers in terms of UK PLC, everyone in the country? Why should Pothole Pro be getting out there and fixing uh, the roads? We all understand, I think, in our hearts, what better roads will mean for us as individuals and also the, the, the UK. So there's no reason, there's no reason at all that we can't, you know, really fix our, our roads permanently with these machines. Um, we've got the tools, we've got the training, uh, we've got the knowledge, uh, we've got the will in our highways gangs to go and do it. I think simply finding a way in the next months to get those tools into the right people's hands and get people trained up uh, and very quickly we're going to see better roads for all of us you know it's really going to be great and i think just picking up on that paul i don't think it can be overstated the impact that potholes have on all of our lives i mean we've heard from abby brown the leader of stoke on trent city council and she said how utilizing the pothole pro it can actually make the city of Stoke-on-Trent more attractive for business, um, being able to eradicate the pothole problem that they potentially face and other councils and authorities have. Um, it, can, it can have a massive impact on, on those guys. And being able to utilise a machine that's branded Pothole Pro is a machine designed just for this purpose. Very well put. So, guys, you mentioned a few of the people you've worked with. Do you just want to talk to us about the partners you collaborated with as you develop the Pothole Pro? We were very keen to work with Stoke-on-Trent City Council and with them being local to us, they were, we were able to do a very iterative process, going back and forward and test different ideas um, and also work with our more you know, strategic innovation partners, Tarmac, uh, Balfour and, and Kia, you know, cover 60-70% you know, of the strategic road network and rural road network in, uh, in the UK. Um, and, and you know it, it's great to have that collaborative process and discussion you know to find the best way of doing things and i think a great example of that ball is, is utilizing for example the, the cropping tool so being able to 360 um utilize a, a steel wrist tilt rotator there and crop around different ironworks um, is a great challenge being put to us and it's something that we've been able to solve with this machine development so I would invite any of your listeners that are viewing us today that think they might have challenges within anything from small potholes right up to large patches um, to visit the JCB website, register your interest for a demonstration, and we'll, we'll show you that the proof's in the pudding. This machine can do it all. Um, and just to give you a little taster of what you can expect when you get these machines out on the road, here is the Pothole Pro in action. Can you tell us a little more about the affordability of this machine for local councils and the payback on the Pothole Pro? Working with JSP Finance, we've come up with a, an operating lease scheme uh, which allow 
a council contractor to, to have a pothole pro uh, for just you know 600 pounds per week uh, so given the, the time and efficiency uh, savings really that, that should be a tool then that can actually go on and save some money against what is being spent today um, and that 600 pound a week includes of course the two operators being trained and in a, a five-year warranty on the machine as well with our JCB Premier cover. And another key aspect to cost effectiveness is how flexible the machine is. I know a lot of councils will try and get kind of two for the value of one type of thing. Can yeah. this machine be put to any other use? The uh, the attachments there, the multi-tool uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the dig end and the planing tool can be taken off and other attachments you know, put onto it like a bucket put onto the machine so it really does become that that go-to uh, tool carrier machine for all of the the challenges and opportunities that our highways teams deal with and it's based around the hydrodig unit is that right it's got a hydraulic arm for for um, lifting uh, absolutely so so uh, a number of years ago we built hydrodig uh, which is innovation at its time it's designed for the urban environment. Uh, it's designed for uh, to give the operator 360 degree visibility to work in a, a single carriageway. Um, you know, to have that safe position to be stable, and and, and that's been a, a great product. You know, for us and our customers. You know, it really has set a new product with it within the market. And what we've done in, in the past uh, 12 months is 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 enhance that product to make it the, the tool carrier carrying these tools upgraded transmissions hydraulics uh, control systems and working with our partners in cymex and developing the multi-tool at the front we've been able to craft it into become a purpose built pothole pro but underneath it, it, it is it is a hydro dig how would you compare the reaction in the uk market to abroad and how do you see the impact of the Pothole Pro being different in terms of its effect in Britain compared to, say, Europe? Absolutely. Uh, as an international company like JCB, our focus has always been on delivering solutions to customers across the world. But definitely as our first step, um, the UK is, is definitely where we want to action um, as initial stage. So we've been overwhelmed with the positive feedback from both customers and the press um, following our launch. And we had a huge amount of requests for demonstrations with councils and contractors on UK roads. We've discussed the huge amount of potholes and the, the problems that are being faced by councils and contractors. So that will be our initial step. Um, and as we talk about working with the likes of Stoke-on-Trent Council, I mean, being on our doorstep, Stoke-on-Trent, we think back to where the word pothole has come from. Um, if you think back to Roman roads, uh, the potters used to steal the clay from those Roman roads to create these, these pots and what left were potholes. So our first step is of course, actioning with these local councils on these UK roads and going back to our roots as it were, but definitely there's an opportunity. We wish you the very best of luck with Pothole Pro. It's been fantastic talking to you guys. It's a very exciting machine. Uh, a toolkit, a uh, hydraulic arm, hydro dig, everything you want, urban environment, uh, but just as good for infrastructure in the winter, in the summer, uh, the whole kit and caboodle. So uh, wish you the best of luck with that both here and in the continent. Thank you very much for joining us. And for all our viewers, thank you very much for joining us for Highways Presents. If you want to get in contact with the JCB team, the details will be at the end of this video. Thank you very much and goodbye.